Welcome back Northwest Fencing Center to our next in our conditioning and strength series. Today's challenge will be the Penta Challenge. So we're going to be doing five different activities and we're going to do four sets through. Uh, things that you'll need for today's activities, you'll need a sturdy chair, you'll need a mat, and you'll need two lightweight objects that you can, that, uh, you can hold in your hands. So I'm going to walk you through the, the quick equipment we're going to use and how we're going to use it. So first we want a nice sturdy chair. So we have a nice sturdy frame chair. What we're going to be doing in these chairs is we're going to take our two lightweight objects and we're going to lean into that chair. So I'm going to kind of sit forward into that chair and I'm going to be leaning forward. So if you look at it from the side angle, and I do this, I'm going to be here, I'm going to be leaning forward in the chair. Now what I'm going to need is my two lightweight objects. I'm actually going to use, for today, two fencing masks, something I can hold. But you can easily use two water bottles, two stuffed animals, anything that's fairly lightweight. You can always challenge yourself later on when doing this in a second time through and up the amount of weight uh, by adding more or less water in your water bottles. You could add sand to an old Gatorade bottle to up the weight, whatever you want. We're going to take these two fencing masks, we're going to use these today for our, our challenge. The one thing we're going to be using this chair is for what we call the IYTWs. It's going to be the middle of each of our set. So we're going to take our two ones. Our I is going to be straight up. The Y straight off to the side in a Y shape. T straight off to the side. And then W is going to be kind of down and back. So looking again from the front angle. Holding our objects, we're going to go I, straight up, Y, up and out, T, straight out, and W, more back. Okay, that's going to be our IYTW. That's where we're going to need our sturdy chair, and that's where we're going to use our lightweight object. The other is just our mat. We're going to be doing some flutter kicks, some push-ups, and some squat, uh, squats and squat jumps, and we want to do that just to up down the impact and make it a little bit easier for, for us on our body. Aside from that, we're gonna go straight into our workout. We're gonna be using uh, our Tabata timer for these workouts. So if you ever wanna do these on your own, I'll walk you through what we have on our setup. Okay, so for our setup on the Tabata timer, we're gonna give ourselves 10 seconds to prepare. Each of these is gonna be 60 seconds of work. We're gonna only add five seconds, so we're gonna hustle between them. We have five cycles and we have four sets. We're going to give ourselves one minute break on each uh, before we start each new set. That's going to give us a chance to catch our breath, and I'll tell you of any variations we're going to do from set to set. Okay? So the first one we're going to be doing is straight up push-ups, so nothing's too special. We're going to go ahead and start our timer. We're going to go to push-ups. I'm going to move you right through. We're going to do flutter kicks. We're going to do the first of our series on the chair, which is our eye. And then we're going to do some squats and some planks, and I'll explain as we go. So we're going to kick it right off. So we're going to go ahead and get started. We got 10 seconds. And we're going to go 60 seconds of push ups. So you're just going to do a nice standard push up, nice and easy. So the key here is not, it's just to go nice, smooth, and slow. We're not trying to necessarily crank out as many as we possibly can. Just something that we can continue all the way through for that 30, that's 60 seconds. Make sure we're maintaining a straight body in our push-up position. Coming straight out. We're really trying to keep that body there. Almost get to the mat. You can touch your nose to the mat before coming back up. Nice and smooth. Stick with it. If you have a hard time with push-up, you can always do the knee, knee push-up position as well. All right, we're going to switch right over to flutter kicks. We're going to switch over on our butt. Feet out. We're just going to kick. So this is going to be after our push-ups. We're going to do flutter kicks or a variation of them. After this, we're going to go to the chair. Where we're going to get to our eye position. So you'll have your chair set up nearby. And you're too lightweight. And in the meantime, just keep standing. You see that my shoulders are off the mat. I'm sitting on my hands. And I'm just trying to make sure I get a nice light little flutter with my feet. 
I'm just gonna keep this up for that 60 seconds. Keep it going. Yeah, this is going to go nice and slow. This is going to just work on our shoulder strength. These masks are pretty light, but after a minute, they're going to feel pretty heavy. We're going to do all of the set in the I positions. We're always going straight up. The next one, we'll do the Ys, followed by T, and our last, that will be W. Remember, I'm sitting forward in that chair, so I'm kind of leaning out and over it. Bring them up at the same speed as you put them down. And just a little pause at the bottom and at the top. All right, we're going to switch to our squats. We're going to do three squats and then squat jump. We're going to squat, come back up, that's one. Squat, we're gonna get to 90 degrees. Two, and our third one, we're gonna squat and jump. Remember, we're gonna do two squats. One, two, and our third one's gonna be a squat, and we're gonna really jump as high as you can and reach forward. Two, and three, and gonna jump. Land. One. Two. Three. One. Two. Three. And one more squat in. All right, we're gonna switch it over to planks. I'm gonna start with our elbow planks. Remember, we're going to keep those, that body up. There's going to be a straight line between my ankles and my shoulders. I want to sink or stick up. Hold it there and breathe through it. After this, we'll get a 60 second break and then we'll start back with our push ups. Stay straight, stay strong. Ten more. All right, go ahead on your feet. During our rest breaks, we're gonna stand up, just shake it out. I'll tell you about any variations. So keep moving. If you need to have a towel to wipe down, you got your water bottle, take a sip. On this round, we're going to do on our push-ups, our variation, instead of being here, we're going to go wide. So we're just going to do a wide arm push-up on the next step. With the flutter kicks, instead of going side to side, here, we're going to go across. We're going to vary it, so it's going to be our legs. We're going to be across over the top and under the bottom. We're just going to barely pass. We're going to alternate that. On the Ys, next step, this time we're going to do the Ys. Last time we did I, straight up. With our light weights, this time we're gonna go out, which is gonna give us that Y position. All right, our squat jumps, it's gonna stay exactly the same. We're gonna, that's the one that's gonna be consistent every time. That's one of the planks, we're gonna do it from our hands. All right, so let's go ahead and do our push-up. We're gonna go wide. As arms as wide as you can, and be consistent. We're not keeping track of how many, 
We're just trying to keep it up. We need to, again, you can always do it from your knees. Try to keep your shoulders and your knee, that body all in one straight line. You can, keep your feet. If you need to rest a little bit, go ahead and wait in the rest position up top. He's all pushing yourself for your next one. All right, come back up. Back here, do our flare kicks into the scissors. Go, cross. Your shoulders are off, you're not laying on the mat. Your shoulders are off the mat. Feet are off the floor. You're just barely crossing those ankles. Under, over. Remember to breathe. After this, we'll get to our chair and we'll go to our watts. seconds. And why? We're really leaning into that chair. Together. Up and out. Hold on the outside for a second. Remember, slowing up, hold, slowing back down. Consistent. You're going to work out in both directions. The slow and controlled drop is part of the, the process. After this, we'll get into our squats. Third one. Get as high as you can on those jumps. That's your explosion. And jump on this one. Get your chest out. Stick your butt back. Good balance. Third one jump. More jump and plank position on your hands. Now basically a push-up position. You're just gonna hold it here. Keep it up, stay straight. Halfway there. Push through. Almost got to your break. All right. 
about 10 feet. All right, two down, two to go. And the point on our push-ups, we're gonna bring our hands close to our body. We're gonna do a narrow push-up close to the body. Might be hard, may need to take a little more rest. Push it through. Flutter kicks, we're gonna do rises. We're gonna have both legs come up and both come down. We're not gonna go too fast, nice and easy. Next one we're gonna be doing is our T's. So we're gonna bring our arms from here straight out. That's our T shape. Remember, we're gonna be sitting in our chair, leaning forward. We do our T's, followed by our squats. And this time when we do our planks, we're gonna be coming from plank position to that raised position and then back down to our elbows. So we're gonna be from here, flat, flat, down to our elbows, backed up on our hands. And we're gonna keep doing that for the full minute. All right, get ready for your push-up. Narrow. So try your best. If you're, again, if your knees are too hard on the extra variations, go ahead and back to one of the others. Few more in. We're going to do our planks. Remember, this one we're going to do full body raises. Right here, up, and uh, just a little bit, both feet at the same time. Shoulders off the mat, feet off the mat. From the chair, straight up. Together, straight up. Remember, we're leaning into the chair. T shape. Slippery down here. Keep it going now. Alright, 
my feet. Oh, I did it in the wrong order, guys. Sorry about that. That was meant to be squats. So I decided on that one when I order. We'll do squats this time. One, two, and three. Three down, one to go. We're going to do our best on this next set. Really push yourself. You're going to alternate push ups. We're going to do chompers on the flutters. We're just going to go in and out. We're going to be doing the Y's uh, in the back. So we're going to be pulling the arms back with our light weights. We'll try to do our squats in the right order this time. And then we'll do our final planks. And we're gonna do alternating sides. Right side for 30, left side for 30. And that'll be the end. We'll just do a little cool down and stretch. The last five minutes. Really push yourself here. Push this side up here. And push ups. Getting hard, I'm gonna go my knees on these last ones. Flip it over. Chompers, move them out, to the end. Here, don't miss. Go straight back with our light weights. So, see it forward. Straight back. Forward, back and hold. Back and hold. 
Get ready for our squats. Third one, so I jump. Third one. Third one. Oh, we're going to start one side, we're going to switch to the other. Right side first. We're going to do it for 30 seconds. We'll quickly spin over to the other side. Finish the left 30 seconds. Up. Good, five more. Five, four, three, two, one, and switch it over. As you can. And we're just gonna hold the foot out. Nice job. All right, on your feet. Shake it out. Nice and slow. Wide feet. Big deep breaths. Chest out. Relax those shoulders. All right, so that completes our Penta challenge. Now, if you're in any workout like that, we need to make sure we give ourselves time to recover. Recognize we need a lot of water afterwards, so hydrate, hydrate, hydrate. Make sure you get some good water, get some quick carbs, and a little bit of protein. Not a lot, but a little is good right after a workout. Uh, great way to do that. It's quick and easy. It's something as simple as like a chocolate milk, which gives you a little bit of those carbs and protein right afterwards. And even after a hard workout, pretty easy to get it down. The other part is make sure you're still moving, so stay light. We want to flush out any lactic acid we build up. If we just stop moving all together, it'll sit and pool. We want to make sure we're still moving our body to kind of help naturally move fluid through. The muscle expanding contraction will help to kind of drain any of those unwanted things out of our system. Uh, we'll make sure that we are less sore the next day. Let's go ahead and do a little bit of a forearm stretch while we're kind of just moving lightly in place. Always good for fencers to stretch out their forearms. This we tend to be a great way to prevent ourselves from getting tennis or fencer's elbow. Switch sides. How is it good to do these workouts? Just because it is a good way to keep ourself and our bodies a little bit more balanced. And that's good. Roll out those wrists. Thanks again for joining. Remember, um, if you didn't already, Check out the uh, Tabata Timer uh, app. Make sure you download that so you can do these on your own. That way you can do them on the road. And you can just write down the workouts. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. Uh, like our videos. Leave us any comments. Give us more feedback. And that way also we can um, give you updates when we have new content that comes out. And send it your way. In the meantime, we hope you enjoyed this video. Subscribe and get more of our content. And remember, hydrate, stay fit, and we'll see you next time.